morning everyone. I wanted to show you this lovely bush here. This is actually called a red hot poker. We're in, pretty soon we're going to get some long stems coming up and at the very top it kind of looks like an icicle or an ice cream cone. It has a red top with a yellow bottom. Butterflies really like this, but as you can see, this bush isn't looking too good right now. It's pretty big, and it needs to be uprooted and separated. And that's kind of the beauty of this plant, is that as it grows, it multiplies deep down in the roots, which is what we want. This root system is really large. As you can tell, I'm having to dig quite deep. Our next step here is to take my shovel and to try to loosen it right here by this really big, this really big one right here. It's a good place to start. Just trying to shake some of the, the dirt away. You might think this is not healthy for this plant, but it actually is. If I were to leave it like this, a big old glob, eventually it's going to die off. Because these particular roots like more room to grow. And I believe that's how God has made us too. He wants our root system to expand and to grow and to branch out. And you can see I have a nice little shoot here, has a root on it. This I can plant. All I'm going to do is just dig a hole and plant it wherever I would like to plant it in my yard or in someone else's yard. Back again, and what I'm doing now is I got one of the big pieces off, and I'm going to lift this and put it right here in the water. That way, I'm going to separate things a little bit easier. If I just go like this, up and down. I'm going to loosen a lot of these. Um, right apart from me. I will hit the shovel. In fact, here's one right now. Again, you can see nice root system going on there. And here we are again. You can see as we lift it out, a lot of the mud is being taken off. I can actually pull apart another one. Now that's Raleigh. He wants to get into the picture today. Um, couldn't persuade him otherwise. He seems to think he wants to drink this water. Okay. We'll just, we're going to let it soak for a little while. We're going to get some more off and then I'm going to come back and finish up. Thank you. So this has been setting for almost two hours and look at that root system. It looks pretty strong and you wonder, well, why should we take it apart? Well, like we said before, if we leave it stuck like this, this will not produce much fruit. You know, in our spiritual lives, we can get stuck too. Sometimes we start comparing ourselves to others. And then, because of that, we isolate ourselves. And we become tangled up in only our own thinking and our own desires. And we live just for us. We're afraid. Fear can do that too. Just fear of taking new steps. And we could just stay hunkered down. But we're not going to produce much fruit here. Because 
we're really only thinking about ourselves and you know throwing a pity party but if we separate these now if I get real vigorous with it I'm gonna have to I'm gonna dunk it keep dunking it until a lot of that soil is loosened up and it's loosened the roots this plant is gonna have a chance now of producing more fruit because it's separated and that's how it works with our lives too in Jesus Christ when we come to him and we begin to think about him he helps us learn to do things a little differently and it may look for a while that we don't look so good but God's working and as we untangle these things and we plant them in different places, we're going to see that fruit showing. It may take a while, but it will happen over time. Psalm 18 verse 1 says that the person who isolates themselves is a selfish person. They're, they're only thinking about themselves and they don't rely on sound wisdom. They don't rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. So sometimes the Lord needs to shake us up a bit. And he says, let's, let's pull this separate a little bit. Let's do something different. And sometimes we have to do that too in our own lives, even though it's uncomfortable. We have to stop isolating ourselves, stop comparing ourselves to other people, and start trusting power the Holy Spirit has to change our own lives into the way God wants us to be. So right now you can see that it's still pretty stuck but it's loosening right now and I'm going to be able to get this because it's been soaking a while. There you go. Look at that. Wonderful. I can probably get that separated into three more branches. And here too. This needs a little, a little bit more coaxing. You notice that I have to be quite gentle with this. I'm not going to be taking my shovel and yanking things apart. The Lord is gentle with us too. He knows when we're ready. ready to be planted, ready to grow and bear more fruit than if they just stayed all stuck together. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and we'll have another one later.